Very few travelers dare to venture to these dangerous grounds as they may not get out alive. From skeleton-filled wastelands to snake-infested islands, here are seven of the most unforgiving places on Earth. Number 7. The Darien Gap, Colombia The Darien Gap is a large swampland and forest area surrounding the border between Colombia and Panama. The area is largely undeveloped and road building is deemed too expensive for the two Latin American countries, resulting in a missing link in the Pan American Highway. Crossing the two countries by land requires moving through vast waves of swamp on the Colombian side and a mountainous rainforest on the Panamanian side. But the area's difficult geography and hostile environment should be the least of a traveler's worries. The Darien Gap is home to the FARC, a communist military group that has been fighting against the Colombian government for decades. Throughout that time, they've committed assassinations, kidnappings, and many other human rights violations. FARC guerrilla soldiers are present on both sides of the border and are known to have kidnapped people who dared traverse those lands. In 2000, English plant hunter Tom Hart Dyke went to the Darien Gap in search of rare orchids with his friend Paul Winder. The two were eventually found by FARC guerrillas and taken hostage. They were held captive for nearly 10 months in which, during that time, they were beaten, fed with spiders and snakes and repeatedly threatened with death. The kidnappers ended up releasing them in the middle of the jungle and the pair exhausted themselves trying to find their way out. Fortunately, they stumbled upon a pair of researchers doing a vole survey and they were saved. Tom and Paul were the lucky ones as many people who disappear at the Darien Gap do not make it out alive. In 2013, Swedish traveler Jan Philip Bronisch disappeared in the area while attempting to cross the Panama from Colombia on foot. His skeletal remains were found two years later, evidently having been shot in the head. The FARC admitted to shooting him, claiming to confuse him for a spy. Apart from the FARC, the Darien Gap is also subject to the presence of other Colombian paramilitary forces as well as drug traffickers, smugglers, and potential kidnappers. Number 6. The Australian Outback Australia's outback is deeply ingrained in the country's heritage. The vast remote inlands include scorching dry deserts, tropical and monsoon climates, and unique wildlife animals not found anywhere else on the planet. Although the outback is a very beautiful place, venturing into it unprepared could end up killing you. For starters, the Australian outback is home to extremely dangerous creatures. The number one fear is snakes. There's the inland taipan, recognized as the most venomous snake in the world, and a single bite from it possesses enough lethality to kill at least a hundred adult males. Then there are crocodiles, both the freshwater and saltwater kinds. These huge reptiles are mean, cunning, and unpredictable. Also, there's a large variety of poisonous bugs like spiders, scorpions, stinging ants, wasps, and bees. But as dangerous as wildlife animals are, they can be avoided with good preparation and a bit of common sense. Avoiding human killers is much more difficult. The Australian horror film Wolf Creek revolves around the story of three backpackers who end up victims to a feral serial killer in the Australian outback. Although the film is arguably fictional, it was loosely based on the real-life murders of outback travelers by Bradley Murdoch in 2001 and Ivan Milat in the 1990s. But even if wild animals and maniac killers fail to get you, the outback's natural environment might succeed in doing so. The Australian sun is fierce and could quickly dry up your bodily fluids, causing heat stroke, disorientation, and hallucinations. Because of the vastness of the lands, inexperienced people tend to get lost easily. Number 5. Skeleton Coast, Namibia Portuguese sailors called this region the Gates of Hell, while African Bushmen called it the land God made in anger. Namibia's skeleton coast comprises the northern part of the country's coastline facing the Atlantic Ocean. It is a vast area of dunes and gravel plains, with countless whale and seal skeletons littering the coastline. Remnants from the former whaling industry and alongside the animal bones lie hundreds of rusting shipwrecks. The skeleton coast is a forbidding place with a hostile environment making it an uninhabitable place and a site of misfortune for humans and animals alike. The upwelling cold currents coming from the south give rise to dense ocean fogs seen throughout the year. Strong winds blow from land to sea and there are constant large waves on the beaches. Before the days of engine-powered vessels, it was impossible for boats to launch from the shores. Today, the coast still harbors the remains of many ships caught by the fog and offshore rocks. The most notable is the Edward Bollen, a German ship which ran aground 
found in thick fog in 1909, its remains lie partially buried in the sand and is said to symbolize the loneliness of Namibia's coast. Number 4. Lake Natron, Tanzania Lake Natron is a salt and soda lake in northern Tanzania, close to Kenya's borders. Temperatures at the lake are always high, reaching up to 60 degrees, causing it to experience high levels of evaporation that leaves behind sodium carbonate mineral deposits. This causes the lake water to be extremely alkaline with a pH above 11. The place is so caustic it can burn the eyes and skin of animals that are not suited to the environment. For most living creatures, the area's extreme temperature and high salt level makes it inhospitable. However, the lake has become a safe breeding location for lesser flamingos. Lake Natron's corrosive environment acts as a natural barrier against predators trying to reach flamingo nests made on seasonally forming evaporate islands. In 2013, photographer Nick Brandt went to Lake Natron and faced an eerie sight. Lying on the ground near the lake's shores were calcified corpses of many different flamingos, birds, and bats. Their mummified bodies were outlined in sharp relief with chalky sodium carbonate deposits. The deaths of the poor creatures were likely the result of them crashing hard into the lake after being confused by the water's clear and reflective nature. Then, the deposits of sodium carbonate, which was once used by ancient Egyptians to mummify bodies, acted as natural preservatives for the animals, keeping their bodies in an eerie zombie-like form. This created an opportunity for the photographer as he photographed the corpses after placing them in living positions. Number 3. Siberia, Russia Siberia is an extensive geographical region that comprises most of Russia's Asian region. The population density of this enormous piece of land is only about three inhabitants per square kilometer, making it the most sparsely populated region on the planet. And for good reason, the thick green forests are very inviting. But when October comes, they would all be covered in white snow. Winter in Siberia is no joke, with some villages reaching temperatures as low as minus 67 degrees Celsius, minus 89 Fahrenheit. Left outside without proper heat insulation, it only takes a matter of minutes for someone to freeze to death. And if the cold fails to get you, a wild beer most likely will. The living conditions in Siberia are very brutal, and the region has been used by Russian authorities for centuries as a place of exile. The system was said to have started during Tsarist times, but is more popularly known for its extensive use during Joseph Stalin's rule. Between the 1930s and 1950s, millions of Russian citizens were sent to the many Siberian gulag prisons run by the communist state. Even today, infrastructural remnants of the cruel era still remain out in the open and in use by the public. The Kolma Federal Highway that runs through the Russian Far East is nicknamed the Road of Bones because it was built by forced laborers whose bones were put into the road's foundation when they died during its construction. Construction of the highway took about two decades during the Stalinist era, with thousands of Gulag inmates succumbing to the harsh weathers. Number 2. North Sentinel Island India. The North Sentinel is a remote island in the Bay of Bengal off the eastern coast of mainland India. If there is any island you should steer clear of at all costs, it is this island. The reason is the North Sentinel is inhabited by the Sentinelese, a tribe of indigenous people who are extremely hostile towards outsiders. The Sentinelese are among the very few remaining isolated communities on the planet. They violently reject any outside contact whatsoever. And although the area is technically under Indian jurisdiction. The Sentinelese exercise complete sovereignty over their affairs. Their current number is unknown, but according to Indian censuses, should be between 50 to 400 people. According to experts, their population faces potential threats of infectious diseases as they lack immunity due to living in isolation for centuries. Following the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, an Indian government helicopter was dispatched to observe the situation of the islanders. They had a apparently survived the disaster and shot arrows and threw stones at the hovering aircraft. In 2006, two Indian fishermen who ventured into North Sentinel waters accidentally drifted too close to the island. The inhabitants mercilessly killed them. All attempts to establish peaceful contact has failed so far, and the Indian government seems to have given up for the time being. Number 1. Isla de Camila Grande, Brazil 
20 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil, is the deadly island of Isla de Camila Grande, referred to as Snake Island. The entire place is swarming with thousands of the world's deadliest and most venomous snakes. In fact, the island is the only place on the planet where you can find the infamous Bothrops insularis, better known as the Golden Lance Head Viper, owing to its pointed lance-like head. In general, these snakes are responsible for most human deaths on the American continent. Its venom can literally melt flesh, making it easy easier to digest, while a neurotoxin paralyzes and kills its prey. What's more incredible is that its main diet on the island consists of birds, which the golden lancehead vipers can pluck out of the sky from tall trees. In the past, many venturers to Snake Island have fallen victim to the venomous reptiles. Rumor has it that the last inhabitants were a lighthouse keeper's family whose dead bodies were found scattered across the island, apparently killed by the snakes. Because of the extreme danger that the island poses, the Brazilian government now forbids anyone from visiting it. However, some scientists are given special permission to go there for research purposes. Poachers are also known to illegally visit the island to capture golden lancehead vipers as they could reach up to $30,000. Scientists are still puzzled as to why these snakes are incredibly venomous compared to their brethren on the mainland. A theory is that the island was separated from mainland Brazil thousands of years ago as a result of rising sea levels. This created a scarcity of food for its inhabitants, forcing the snakes to gradually evolve into a extremely deadly predators in order to survive. The most famous of these was the story about a giant human skeleton uncovered in the desert during gas exploration in Saudi Arabia. Pictures were included, linked with the Islamic story of the Prophet Hud and the powerful giant tribe of Ad. 